Hello students, today I am going to discuss paper 1 of Sabragama Provincial Department of Education. Let's start first question. Between which two whole numbers that square root 46 lie? First write the perfect squares less than this one and greater than this one but closest to this one. Square root 36 and square root 49. Square root 36 is 6. Square root 49 is 7. So square root 46 lie between 6 and 7. Now look at second question. In a school, 2 over 3 of our boys. Then girls, 1 third are girls. Total number of students, 600. You have to find number of girls. Multiply 600 by 1 over 3. Cancel these two, 200. 200 girls in this school. Now look at third question. One factor of this trinomial expression is given. You have to find the other factor. I am going to factorize this trinomial expression. First multiply first term and last term. Minus 5a to the power 2. Find the pair of terms which has 5a to the power 2 as its product and 4a as its sum. Terms are plus 5a and minus 1a. a to the power 2. Instead of 4a you can write plus 5a minus 1a. Now factorize. Take a common, a plus 5, take minus 1, common, a plus 5. Factors are a plus 5 and a minus 1. So what is the other factor? Other factor is a minus 1. This is the answer. Now look at fourth question. Radius of the sector is 21. Find the perimeter of the sector. First find the length of the arc. Here angle is 90. 90 over 360 into 2 phi r. 90 into 360 to 22 over 7. Radius is 21. Cancel these two. 4, 7 and 21, 3, 2 and 4, 2, 2 and 22, 11, 11 multiplied by 3, 33 centimeters, then perimeter, this arc length is 33, 33 plus 21 plus 21, Seventy five centimeters. This is the answer. Let's start fifth question. According to the data marked on the diagram, what is the other pair of sides O angle that should be equal to two triangles congruent? Mention the case of congruence. There are four answers for this question. I am going to explain all four answers. If you if you take QR equal to XY, these two triangles are congruent under the case SAS. If QR equal XY, two triangles are congruent SAS case. If PR equal to XZ.
here this is the hypotenuse so you can take RHS case right angle hypotenuse and another side if you take QPR angle equal to X Z Y angle two angle and one side congruence case is angle angle side if you take these two angles QRP equals to Z X Y then again two angle and one side angle angle side all four answers are correct here let's start sixth one what is the most suitable value for 12 square root 12 from the following answers first you have to square these values 3.3 multiplied by 3.3 10.89 then 3.4 multiplied by 3.4 11.56 3.5 multiplied by 3.5 12.25 now find which one is closer to 12 you can see 11.56 and 12.25 find the difference between 12 and 11.56 0 0.44 and find the difference between 12 and 12.25 12 12.25 12 when comparing these two this one is the less difference so square root 12 is closer to 3.5 this is the answer square root 12 equals 3.5 look at the seventh one find the area of the following sector angle is 45 degrees 360 into 5 r squared 360 45 over 360 522 over 7 radius 14 cancel 45 and 368 7 and 14 2 2 and 8 4 4 and 22 and here 2 and 14 7 11 into 7 77 square centimeters this is the answer eighth one this is a square of a binomial expression first you have to write the square of first term then two times product of first two terms here you have to write first term and this is second term then expand this one 2 to the power 2 4 and y to the power 2 then ninth one LCA first write these expressions as a product of prime numbers Then take the highest index of each and every different base. 2 to the power 2, 3 to the power 1, x to the power 2, y to the power 2. Answer is 12, x to the power 2, y to the power 2. Look at 10th one. 12 men take 4 days to clean a land. How many days that 16 men will it take to finish the same work? First find the total work. Number of men multiplied by number of days. 48 man days. You have to find number of days to complete it by 16 men. Divide this work by 16. 3 days. Answer is 3 days. Now look at 11th question. Select the triangle congruent to the triangle ABC from the following triangles. Write the corresponding side to BC. First find the value of this remaining angle. Sum of these three angles equal to 180. Remaining angle is equal to 55. Here find the remaining angle. 
it is equal to 60. Here find the remaining angle. It is equal to 65. These are the given sides. Now here this side is opposite to 55 degrees. Here this side is opposite to 55. But the last term this side is opposite to 60. So you can take these two triangles as congruent triangles. So triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR. Corresponding side to BC. Here BC is opposite to 65 degrees. So what is the side opposite to 65 degrees here? PQ. So BC equal to PQ. This is the answer. Look at 12th one. This is a quadratic expression. These are the factors of this quadratic expression. When you expand these two factors, answer is this one. If you multiply these two last terms, answer should be equal to minus 24. So, what is the value of B? A multiplied by minus 3 equal to minus 24. So, you can write x plus 8, B is minus 3. Then expand these two. x multiplied by x, x to the power 2 x multiplied by minus 3, minus 3x, three 8 multiplied by x, 8x, eight, 8 multiplied by minus 3, minus 24, minus 3x plus 8x plus 5x. Now compare these two quadratic expressions, x to the power 2, ax, instead of a here 5, so value of a is 5. Here, instead of b, we substitute minus 3. The value of b is minus 3. This is the answer. Our 13th one, find the value of x. Here, you can see in this diagram, a, b and a, c are equal sides. In a triangle, if two sides are equal, then opposite angles are equal. Here 40, here also 40. The sum of interior angle of a triangle, 180 x plus 40 plus 40 180 x plus 80 180 subtract 80 from right side x equal hundred degrees this is the answer look at 14th one area of the shaded part is 35 here unshaded part, write it as a fraction, 45 degrees unshaded. Forty-five over three hundred sixty. One over eight of the figure unshaded. Therefore, shaded part is seven over eight. It represents thirty-five square centimeter. If uh, 708 35 square centimeters you can find 108 divide this one by 7 5 square centimeter total area is 808 multiply this one by 8 40 square centimeters find the value of x according to the data here this is exterior angle this exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles x plus 2x equal to 120 degrees 3x equal to 120 divide both sides by 3 x equal 40 degrees fill in the blank with the suitable value here again binomial expression and here square of it so you have to expand this one square of first term this is square of first term two times product of first and second terms here uh, remove this minus sign 100 2 times first term into second term now expand this 100 to the power 2 10,000 2 into 100 200 mi multiply by 2 400 2 to the power 2 4 10,000 minus 400 9,600 plus 4 9,604 
distance. Let's start 17th one. A task of 30 man days done by group of men in 5 days. If the total salary 36,000, what is the salary for one man? First find number of men. This is the work 30 man days divided by number of days 5 days and say 6 men. 36,000 even for 6 men you had to find the salary of 1 men. Thirty six thousand divided by six answer is six thousand rupees. Eighteenth one sixty two fifty nine find the remaining angle. It is also fifty nine. Sum of these three one hundred eighty. Uh, you can see these two angles are equal, then opposite sides should be equal. This is the side opposite to this angle. And this is the side, this is the side opposite to this angle. You can write BAC equal BCA equal 59 degrees. Therefore, AB equal to BC. Reason, sides opposite to equal sides. Let's start 19th one. A metal railing is fixed around a semicircular shape 1, which is radius 7 cm. Semicircular shape 1, radius 7 meter. What is the length of the railing? First find this arc length. This is a semicircle, so you can write half into 2 phi r. Radius is 7. Answer is 22 meter. Find the total length. This arc length is 22 and this diameter is equal to 14. So total length is 22 plus 14, 36 meter. ABCD is a rectangle, BC is a solid triangle, find the magnitude of ABE. If this is a rectangle, here angle is 90. If these two sides are equal, opposite angles also equal. Take this as X. Sum of these three 180, then find X. 2X plus 80, 180. Divide both sides by 2, x equal 50. Then find the magnitude of ABE. ABE equals 90 plus 50. 140 degrees. This is the answer. Now look at 21st one. Incomplete not done by a student. Try to find least common multiple of two algebraic terms. Complete the blanks. Here to obtain 30 as a product, you had to write 6 here. 6 cube. Then this side write it as a product of 2 prime factors. 2 and 3. Then select the highest powers of each and every different algebraic terms. You had to take p to the power 2 and Q. This is the answer. Now look at 22nd one. According to the angle marked in the diagram, find the value of A in terms of BCD. Consider this triangle. This is the exterior angle. Sum of these two angles equal to this exterior angle. So what is the magnitude of this angle? 
subtract d from b b minus d these two are vertically opposite angle so this angle is also b minus d then consider this triangle exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angle exterior angle equal to a and interior opposite angles are this one b minus d this one c so a equals b minus d plus c reason is exterior angle equal to sum of interior opposite angles let's look at 23rd one Sen divided the land of 10 hectares among his four daughters and son. Son cultivated cinnamon in three or four of the part. This 10 hectares divide between four daughters and son. So, 10 hectares divide equally between five of them. 10 divided by five. 2 hectares given to sun. Sun cultivated cinnamon in 3 or 4 of his part. Cinnamon. 3 or 4 of his part. 2 hectares. Cancel 2 and 4. 2. 3 divided by 2. 1.5 hectares. Look at 24th one. A, B, C, D is a trapezium. These three sides are equal. A, E, T, E and F, C. Find the magnitude of B, C, F. You have to find the magnitude of this angle. You can see this is a rectangle. Opposite sides parallel. These two are right angles. Here. These two sides should be equal. Now consider B, F, C triangle. It is isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. If two sides are equal, you can see opposite angles are equal. These two angles should be equal. Take this as x. Take this as x. Sum of interior angle of a triangle 180. 2x plus 90 180. Subtract 90 here. 2x equal 90. Divide by 2. x equal 45. Therefore, BCF equal... 45 degrees. Look at 25th one. Following pie chart shows information grade 10. There are 60 students and students uh, who study Western music 15. What is the letter represents Western music? A total student 60. Out of them 15 are doing Western music. 15 over 60. Simplest fraction is 1 over 4. Here look at this sector. Angle is 90. Total angle is 360. Simplest one is 1 over 4. These two are same. So sector C representing western music. Answer is sec sector C. Let's start part B. First question. Situm spent 1 over 8 of his monthly income for traveling and 2 over 7 of the remaining for food. What is the fraction of total income he spent for food? Traveling. He spent 1 over 8. So what is the remainder? If 1 over 8 spent, 7 over 8 remaining. Then food. 2 over 7 of the remaining amount. 2 over 7 of remaining. 2 over 7 of remaining is 7 over 8. Cancel 7 and 7 and 2 and 8. Here 4. Answer is 1 over 4. Second part. What fraction of total salary is spent for food and traveling? Here food 1 over 4. Traveling 1 over 8. You have to add these two. Food and traveling. 
1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. Convert this denominator into 8 multiply by 2. 2 over 8 plus 1 over 8. Answer is 3 over 8. After spending for food and traveling, 1 over 10 of the remainder is saved in the bank account. After, uh, this is the amount spent for food and traveling. So what is the remaining? If we spend 3 over 8 to food and traveling, remainder is 5 over 8. Then 1 over 10 of the remainder he saved. Savings. 1 over 8 of the remainder. 1 over 10 of the remainder. Remainder is 5 over 8. Cancel 5 and 10. 2. 1. 2 multiplied by 8. 16. Here saving amount is 3000 rupees. 1 over 16 represents 3000 rupees. Question asks is total monthly income. 1 over 16 equal 3000 rupees. Total salary is 16 over 16. Multiply this one by 16. 3000 multiplied by 16. Answer is 48000 rupees. Now look at fourth one. If the total expenditure for food, traveling, saving and education is 25000. What fraction of his whole salary is spent for education. First said food, traveling and savings. Food. Food and traveling 3 over 8. Savings 1 over 16. Convert this denominator into 16. One over sixteen parts represent three thousand rupees. Then seven over sixteen multiply this one by seven. Three thousand multiply by seven. Twenty one thousand. Twenty one thousand spent for food, traveling, and saving. But some of expenditures of food, traveling, saving, and education equal to twenty four. Twenty five thousand. Then find the amount spent for education. Subtract 21,000 from 25,000. 4,000 rupees spent for education. You have to represent it as a fraction. What fraction of his salary spent for education? Fraction is 4,000 spent for education. His total salary is 48,000. Cancel 3 zeros. Cancel 4 and 48. Simplest one is 1 over 12. This is the answer. Let's start second question. Show that most suitable value for square root 20 is 4.5. And it is not 4.5. First multiply 4.4 by 4.4, 19.36, then 4.5 multiply by 4.5, 20.25, then multiply 4.6 by 4.6, 21.16. According to these three values, this one is closer to 20. So square root of 20 is closer to 4.5. But 20 is not exactly equal to 20.25. So square root of 20 is not exactly equal to 4.5. Square root 20 is closer to 4.5. But square root 20 is not 
exactly equal to four point five. Part B. Prepare the board shown in the diagram for an activity. It is prepared by removing two same size squares. Removing two same size squares A and B. Area of one small square is 14 square centimeter. Find the length of a side of small square A. Question says area of these two small squares are equal and area of one square is 14 square centimeter. If you know the area, how you can find the length of a side by taking the square root of 14. To find this square root, I am going to use division method. First write 14 as a decimal number separating into pairs. Write the same number here and there. 3 into 3, 9. Remaining 5. Take these two zeros. 3 plus 3, 6. Write same number here and there. 67 multiplied by 7. 469. Remaining is 31. Take these zeros. Then 67 plus 7, 74. Write the same number here and here. 744 multiplied by 4, 2976. Remainder is 124. Here put decimal point. So square root of 14 to second decimal place is 3.74. You can round off this to the nearest first decimal place. Here 4, so don't add 1 here. The closest answer is 3.7 centimeters. If the area of the shaded part in the figure is 41, area of this shaded part is equal to 41. Find the length of a side of the square shape board. It means find the length of the side of this large square. Correct to the first decimal place. Area of shaded part is 41 square centimeter. Area of these two squares equal 14 times 2. Area of A and B. 14 into 2. 28. Then what is the total area of this large square? You have to add 41 and 28. 69 square centimeter. Then question asks find the length of a side. Again you have to take the square root of this area to find the length of a side. Find the square root 69. I am going to use division method. Here 8 into 8, 64. Remaining 5, take these two pair of zeros. 8 plus 8, 16. Write same number here and here. 163 into 3, 489. Remaining 11, take this pair of zeros. 163 plus 3, 166. Write the same number here and here. It is uh, 1100. So here you had write 0. Keep decimal point here. Answer is 8.30. But question asks length of the side to the first decimal place. So round off this to the first decimal place. Answer is 8.3 centimeters. Now look at third one. Square shaped piece of an oil paper. Area is 100. Space on this board. Adjacent sides of the oil paper are to be coincide with one vertex. 
and two adjacent sides of the board. Show this information by a rough sketch with relevant measurements on the given diagram. Here area is 100 square centimeter. Find the length of a side by taking square root. Length of a side of the oil paper is 10 centimeter. Now draw the sketch of oil paper on this diagram. Length of a side of the oil paper 10 cm. And length of side of this board is 8.3 cm. And length of a side of this small square is 3.7 cm. Let's start third one. Cleaning works of Nirogya Private Hospital start every day 6 am. They have to finish 10 names. 12 workers are involved with this work. What is the total number of man hours done by all the workers? Total work. Number of men. Into number of hours. Here 12 workers. Start 6 am and finish at 10 a.m. 4 hours here. 12 into 4, 48 man hours. This is the answer. Second one, in a certain day, 4 workers didn't come for the work. If 4 workers didn't come from 12 workers, there are remaining 8 workers. How many hours that the remaining workers will take to finish the work? Eight workers are remaining. Number of hours. This is the total work they have to complete. 48. Eight workers are there. 48 divided by 8. Six hours. Third part. If the client cleaning work to be finished at 10 a.m. What is the time remaining workers should start the work? They have to work 6 hours and finish 10 a.m. So subtract 6 from 10. 4. They have to start the work at 4 a.m. Fourth one, if 200 rupees paid to for extra hour, what is the extra amount of money that has to pay 8 workers on that day? For one extra hour, 200 rupees. Then they have to work 2 extra hours. Earlier they start their work at 6 a.m. But now they have to start at 4 a.m. So they have to work 2 extra hours. 200 multiplied by 2. There are 8 workers. This is the amount for 1 worker. Multiply this one by 8. Answer is 3200 rupees. Look at 4th one. Shown in the diagram is gate fix the entrance religious place. It is covered with metal plates. And the middle rectangular part, there is a circular hole. Hole. These are metal parts. Find the arc length of the semicircular part. Find this arc length. Here semicircle you can write half into 2 phi r. 2 into 522 over 7 radius. Here 70. So this is equal to 70. It is diameter. Half of it 35. 
radius is 35. Cancel 2 and 2. 7 and 35, 5. 22 into 5, 110 centimeters. It's the answer first one. Look at second part. Find the difference between perimeters of whole gate and the circular hole. First find the perimeter of whole gate, then find the perimeter of circular hole, then subtract these two values to find the difference. First find the perimeter of gate. To find the perimeter, at this value 70, 150 and this arc length is 110, again 150. 70, 150 and arc length 110 and here again 150. Perimeter of the gate is 480 centimeters. Then perimeter of the circular hole, it means circumference of this circular hole. Circumference. of the hole 2 phi r 2 into 22 over 7 into radius is here radius is 14 centimeter 2 2 into 22 44 into 2 88 centimeter question asks difference between these two answers difference is This is the answer. Now look at third one. Find the area of the semicircular part at the top of the gate. Find the area of this semicircle. Radius is 35. To find the area, uh, it is a semicircle, so write half. To find the area, write phi r squared. Half into phi 22 over 7. Radius is 35. Cancel 2 and 22, 11, 7 and 35, 5, 11 into 5 into 35, 9, 1925 square centimeters. This is the answer. Fourth one, find the area of the metal plates used to make the gate. These two parts, rectangular part and semicircular part, uh, consists with metal but in this hole covered with wire mesh so you have to find the area of semicircular part rectangular part and area of this hole find the area of rectangle you can multiply length and breadth 150 into 10,500 square centimeter. Then find the area of the hole. It is a circular one, phi r squared, 22 over 7, radius is 40. Six hundred sixteen square centimeter. Then find the area of metal plates. At the area of rectangular part and this semicircular part, 1925, and subtract the area of the hole from this one because hole is covered with a wire mesh. Answer is 11,809 square centimeters. Look at fifth question, a pie, chart, a pie chart showing information about number of marks obtained by each house in the in-house sport meet of a certain school. Here 90 degrees, 120 degrees. What is the angle of the sector shows Nilwala house. Sum of angles around a point 360. So subtract these two values by 360. 90 and 120 answer is 150 degrees second one if the number of marks scored by 
Samanal house is 336. What is the number of marks obtained by the winning house? Okay, which one is the winning house? Nilula house is the winning house because its angle is the highest angle, 150 degrees. Angle for Samanal house is 90 degrees. So 90 degrees represents 336 marks. 1 degree represents. Divide this one by 90. Then winning house is Nilvala house. 150 degrees for Nilvala house. 1 degree represent this amount to find 150 degrees multiply this one by 150 you can cancel these two by 30 there are 5 30s and here 3 336 divided by 3 112 into 5 560 marks Third one, one no four of the marks of Mahaveli house and one third of Samanal house are obtained by team events. Now angle for Mahaveli house is 120 degrees. Angle for Samanal house is 90 degrees. Mahaveli. Angle is 120. One fourth of marks. 120 divided by 4, 30 degrees. Then Samanala house. Angle for Samanala house 90 degrees and one third of Samanala house 1 over 3. 90 divided by 3, 30 degrees. Okay, you can see these two angles are equal. If the angles are equal, marks also equal. So question asks find the relation between number of marks of team events number of marks are equal number of marks of team events are equal now fourth one because of an error happened in the entering marks into mark sheet 56 marks of Samanal house is added to the Nilvala house. After correcting it, is the pie chart is to be changed. You have to complete this table after the correction. If 56 marks of Samanal house is added to the Nilvala house, for the correction you have to do the converse of this one. So subtract 56 marks from Nilvala house. Subtract 56 marks from Nilvala house. Earlier Nilvala house obtained 560 marks. Here winning house is Nilvala house. It obtained 560 marks. To correct this one, subtract 56 marks from 560. Answer is 504. Then you have to add 56 marks to Samanal house. Earlier Samanal house get 336 marks. Now add 56 marks to 336. The value obtained is 392. Now look at here. Nilvala house 150 degrees represent 560 marks. I am going to write the converse of it. 560 marks represents 150 degrees. You can divide both by 10. 56 marks given by 15 degrees. When you are subtracting 56 marks from Nilvala house, you have to subtract 15 degrees from it. Earlier Nilvala house get 150 degrees. So 150 minus 15 degrees. 
the value is here 135 degrees here you add 56 marks to Samanala house so you have to add 15 degrees to Samanala house earlier Samanala house get 90 degrees 90 plus 15 105 degrees that is all for today.